today I'm going to give you some advanced Ana tips and explain why she is the fastest healer in the game right now. Actually, here's a nice quick tip here. If you want to hit someone far away with a sleeper dart, simply scope in, line up the shot, then immediately fire the sleeper dart. Easy peasy. Of course, it's easier if they're standing still. It was a pretty funny shot and I'm amazed none of my teammates woke him up early and managed to take down his turret before he got up and repaired it. There will be some of you that may already know some of these Ana tips, and that's fine. There are still plenty of people who just haven't been able to pick her up yet or even play Overwatch since her release. Also, I'm not at all saying that Mercy is weaker than Ana because that's simply not true. What I'm saying is that if Reinhardt is down to his last 25 to 50 health, Ana will get him back up to 100% much faster than Mercy could. In fact, I think Ana might become a better match for Reinhardt than Mercy. But that's just my opinion, and only time will tell. Let's do some number crunching. Okay, so we have a Reinhardt and a Mercy, along with a Widowmaker to leave Reinhardt on low health by taking two headshots at. at oh, oh. We have a Hanzo that will take two headshots and leave him with no health. Can't even see it. So Mercy's staff will heal 50 health per second and needs no experience from the player. Yes, there are advanced tactics for Mercy, but any beginner can pick her up and know that the yellow beam heals people. If that's all they did with her and managed to stay alive, then they have done a fine job indeed. Notice the speed at which Reinhardt heals. Before Ana, this was the fastest practical way to heal him. Lucio nor Zenyatta could come close to this speed. Only Zenyatta's ultimate could be that healing speed, but we're talking about practicality here, so ultimates are not in this discussion. Ana's rifle will heal for 75 health per shot at any distance, which is already more than Mercy's 50, but it's on a per shot basis whereas Mercy's is continuous. A plus is that there isn't an obvious beam of light for enemies to follow and locate you. However, just like any sniper, an Ana is only as good as the person's accuracy that's playing her. Another tip, I recommend hip firing a lot. You'd be surprised at the shots you can make at a distance. Now if you weren't impressed by that, just wait. Ana's grenade will damage enemies and heal teammates. It instantly heals for 100 health and for 5 seconds all healing applied from any source will increase by 100%. This means that Ana's 75 health shot now becomes a 150 health shot for those 5 seconds. So right off the bat combined health of the grenade and a single sniper shot will heal for a total of 250 health and spam the weapon for 150 health after that. Yeah, I know. That's insane. However, this does require two of your abilities to do that much healing compared to Mercy's much simpler healing design. I'm only trying to illustrate that I'm not saying anything bad about Mercy or any of the other healers. Just that if you have a good Ana on your team with good accuracy, she can heal the fastest and get those tanks back in action much quicker than Mercy. So what do you think? Have you noticed this yet? Eventually, every person will know to combine these two for healing and not use the grenade exclusively for damaging enemies, which seems to be the case right now. So, was this helpful at all? Is there any little tips or nuances you think I should have added? Leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to my channel for more Overwatch content. My name is Chit, and I approve this message. I'm escorting the payload. Let's go. Hilda. Round two complete. 